Who's your favorite heel of all time? That's got to be Randy Orton, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. As far as heel, definitely Rand Randy and Nature Boy. Nature Boy, as I said, when I was a kid, he always got me, man. He always, always got me. I never understood, first of all, why he always looked like a 50-year-old man. And why is he, is he winning these matches? And why, when he's begging off, everybody falls for his trick? I remember vividly being a kid and thinking that. It's like, come on, man. Just get up and fight, Hogan. Uh, how can anybody have a bad day? Yeah, exactly. Twitter, Miro. Yes, Twitter, Twitter. That's what I meant, Twitter. We got the report up about your rant. I tried to get the best quotes from you. <laughs> Wrestling news, yo. I told you, if you want something, just come and watch. Don't be, uh, he said, she said. I, I love how I'm giving you all this info, and you can at least subscribe if you want. At least drop me something that I drop in you. And I usually I never ask anybody to subscribe besides you, because I feel like I'm giving you good information. So, thank you in advance. Frey will always be the best heel in the business. Yeah. Yeah, but Randy, man. Randy is Randy's the best. Randy is the best. Randy Orton is clearly the best heel and one of the best workers of all time. Owen donated. Thank you, Owen. He said, thoughts on Irish crowds when you visited during the live tours, assuming you did. In general, with OTT, I don't know what that is, one of the best environments for a fan, always hot AF and super nice people as well from my experience going to shows last two years. I love Irish crowds, man. I love Irish people in general. I think they're super cool people and they love their family and they love good time. And, and you know, obviously I got to know Ireland a little bit more because of my friend Seamus. And I spent some time in his house and got to know his family, his mom, his dad, his dogs, his sister, everybody. I know everybody. And I love Ireland. I think it's, it's a beautiful place. The crowd is clearly fantastic. Uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I love how green uh, just everything is. Love Ireland. Thank you, man. Thank you for the donation. Randy is definitely someone I will change that channel if he's on. He's beyond boring, in my opinion. Minus five stars anytime. Well, you just have something personal uh, against him. Uh, Cactus. Cactus, thank you very much for the subscription, but big subscription, but big Cactus. Ben, good game. Randy Orton is one of those characters that just works better as a heel. Oh, absolutely. Randy should never be a babyface. Sorry, one second. Um, do, 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 do. I miss early 2000s wrestling vibes. Is, uh, is that just me? Or well, that's not me. My favorite thing is the 80s and early 90s. Uh, and yeah, that's definitely my favorite wrestling time. 80s and early 90s. Oh, wait. Legendary coach sent me the tweet from Kurt Angle. How nice is he? Uh, what is that? I think Rusev was a better character than Randy as he is the most over heel and face. Rusev had the same heel reaction and face reaction at The Rock achieved. Yeah, but Randy is Randy, man. Randy is different. Randy is just... Randy's been there for 30 years. Well, not 30, but 25.
Mirror Thoughts and Roman going here after five years, the fan wanted it. It's fantastic. Man needs a challenge. I felt the same way after being a, ba a heel for so long. I literally got tired of it. I literally, because there was no more challenges. I was just, that's before the Rusev Day. Even during the Rusev Day, I was still a heel. They still got me working as a heel, and I was so over it. I was so over it. People need challenges. People need changes. And why wouldn't he want to be a heel? They, people, we wanted for him to be heel forever now. So I think it's going to be really fun for him as well. I think it's for. I think he's going to. He's going to have a blast. I'm not. I think. I know he's going to have a blast, because he was a great heel. He's always been a great dude and great worker, and he gets it. So, and he's got Heyman and he's got Vince. So he'll be fine. I think he did the right thing. What made me a Clipper fan instead of a Lakers? Uh, I was a Laker fan. They kicked Shaq out. Uh, I got super mad at the Lakers. Uh, Shaq was my favorite player, still is. Wanted to go and watch him play, so I bought a Clipper ticket because the Laker ticket was expensive, and still I hated the Lakers. So I bought a Clipper ticket, watched him when he was with Phoenix, when he was with Miami, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to be a Clipper fan from now on. And I became a Clipper fan, and I suffered through a lot, so now is my time to celebrate. Uh, Kurt adapted a kid, I think, about a year ago. Um, I don't know if I've met Paige's brother. No, I think I met Paige's all, the whole family. I met him in England many a times. But I don't know if I specifically met her brother. But I remember meeting her family. Yeah, when Shaq, oh wow, look at Legendary. With uh, when Shaq left the Lakers, that's when he became a Warriors fan. Well, that's what happens. Shaq brings people together. Roman, uh, Roman suits being heel is we think, yeah, nice to see him do something different. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I caught up. Look at me, I caught up to all the questions. I caught up to all the questions and all the dirt sheets. <laughs> 